What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla spy and video, the QQQ and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what news is coming up for the markets affecting it so far. But you should be watching for when it comes to technical analysis for all these different tickers. But before I break anything down with all this information, before I get to any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I'm firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. So anyways, guys, let's talk about what's going on with the market so far. So looking at SPIs, things up about 0.5% of the pre-market. And most stocks have been trying to bounce, at least during the pre-market. You can see there's green on like AMD, on Microsoft, uh, not to mention the QQQ and just a couple of others. But some stocks are underperforming from NVIDIA to Apple and Tesla because we had some negative news for them. So I want to talk about the news very quickly, then break down how the charts are looking. So the first piece of news that's important is that Morgan Stanley has cut its target on Apple to 210. And it does keep the over, excuse me, the overweight rating, but this was a price code, which is bearish news for them. And this is part of why, you know, Apple's a little bit weaker than the market. Looking at some data coming out, just as a reminder, we have Parker giving a speech at about one hour after the market opens at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, there's also this news that came out that Charles Schwab has also missed on profit slash revenue. And uh, they did beat on EPS, but this miss when it comes to their earnings has slowed down not only their share price, but also the market to some extent. So Charles Schwab did miss on revenue. It was a very, very slight miss. I think there's like a 16% decline relative to the previous quarter. Besides that, EPS was a beat, so we will see how this affects them. So far, they're dropping on that revenue miss. It was a very poor revenue that was reported. So once again, 16% down, and that's for their earnings. For NVIDIA, we have this news coming out that they're hiking its GeForce Now membership fees up to 40%. So this is some bad news for them. And last but not least, uh, there is more news for Apple. Uh, decline in iPhone 15 sales in China raises concerns. So we had some bad news that came out for these stocks. This is why some of these are like underperforming. But now I just want to break down the technicals and talk more about how things are looking. So we called some kind of bounce on SPY looking at the bullish divergence. If you look at how this looks, we managed to bounce right now on SPY. We're currently approaching 434. We're going to be watching this resistance. If we could break this 434-ish resistance, it's going to come all the way back up to about 436. If you reject off this resistance right here, it's going to come right back down to fill this gap to at least 430. And if that breaks, it's going to come all the way down to like 427. So watch this resistance on SPY. Do we break above this? Do we break above this channel? Or do we reject? As of right now, it hasn't broken out. So don't make any assumptions. We did call this move, which is happening on SPY so far, the bounce. So we will see if we get a rejection or not. So watch that very carefully. So watch 434 is resistance, 436 above that. If it breaks below uh, right down here at this 432 area, it's going to come all the way back down to 430, which is where we have this unfilled gap. And below that, it can start sinking to 427 if that breaks. So watch that resistance for the QQQ. Same thing is going on. Uh, came a little short. It's currently at 366.68. I was talking about this thing potentially coming up to 367. It's coming very, very close to my target. Um, it was about, it's about like 40 cents away from the 367s, uh, depending on how long it takes to get up there. Uh, but just be a little careful because even if the QQQ does pump to like the 367 area, I'm going to be watching this resistance right here at this upper channel if it does manage to reach it. But there's also resist resistance at 367 and then 368 above that. Uh, so watch this channel's resistance and those levels. Uh, in my opinion, it depends on if you reject or not. Uh, if we get this rejection, it can start sinking right back down. So watch critical resistance at 368. If that breaks, it can come up to 36, uh, 370. Excuse me, 370 would come next. If you reject off where we currently are, watch 366, 366 as support. If we get below 366, that's a bearish signal. It's going to break all the way down to 364.5, if not below that from the pre-market level. So watch these levels. The QQQ looks like it's going to try to push a little higher, but then we'll be watched to see if there's some kind of rejection or not. So that's going to be very key for today. NVIDIA announced that they're like increasing certain prices. So this led to another sell-off on NVIDIA. But what's good about it is the fact that we are still technically in this channel. We've been declining, right? I actually never touched these lines since yesterday. I left them as is. And you can see 
we broke below the channel then we're trying to come right back up so nvidia has this resistance right here at this white trend line at this 453.5 area if we break above this we could turn a little bullish and try to push up towards 460. if we reject off this we could see nvidia just continue to sink back down towards 444. so that's gonna be the next level on nvidia if we do get another rejection we break below 450. if 450 fails us watch 448 and 4 44 as supports and be very careful at these levels and if you want to turn bullish you need to see nvidia break this white trend line you want to see it get above 453.5 if it fails to do so it could remain weak so watch that level very very carefully uh finally for apple stock it's a little weaker because we had some bad news that came out we had some price cuts and etc but now it's trying to bounce with the market it's trying to get back to the green area uh, i do see a possible hand shoulders that could be forming on it but we we'll always be watching it to see if Apple could try to push up and hold 178.5. If it achieves that, it could get very close to 179.68. So we need to hold 178.5 to turn a little bit more bullish. If we fail to get above that, we could just range trade between 177.5 and then 178 or so and just continue to trade sideways. And if we break below uh, 176.5, we could see this thing sink even lower. So we're just going to be watching these levels very carefully just to see how this reacts and just know there's a possible head and shoulders forming so it's very important to be watching these levels very very carefully anyways guys that's pretty much it when it comes to the main tickers out there oh i think i forgot tesla uh tesla's gonna be the last one before i end the video uh for tesla like i said before tesla's looking a little bit weaker uh it's been continuing to decline but we're still in this channel so we'll see if tesla can try to bounce if Tesla wants to turn bullish, we need to see this thing trying to break above 250. There are some concerns about their margins. So if we break and hold 250, that's when Tesla can try to push up towards this upper trend line back up to 254. But we need to see Tesla hold 250 first. If we fail to hold 250 and reject, you know, the next support is going to be 247. If that fails us, we come all the way down towards support at 244. So I'm just going to be watching these levels to see if we can get some kind of bounce or not on Tesla as of right now it's looking kind of weak. So, you know, it's looking a bit weak, but we need to see Tesla try to hold 250 to turn bullish and it's making an attempt to hold the trend line, but we will see if this holds or not. We will see if it tries to bounce with the market. We're currently at 249, just under 250. Let's see if Tesla could try to get above 250. So watch that level, watch this channel as well, see if this holds or not. And, you know, Tesla's looking a bit weaker because of some bad news that came out about their margins, but we're just going to be patient nonetheless. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for the market. Most stocks out there are actually trying to pump. Uh, we are seeing some stocks such as NVIDIA being a little bit weaker because of bad news alongside Apple and Tesla. But most stocks are still kind of green as the VIX is cooling off. So is the dollar. This is what we called out yesterday. So, you know, SPY is still kind of green. Watch and see if SPY rejects. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Thank you for listening. Have a good one and peace out.